I know a lot of you guys have been wondering when Luminar Neo will be released. And I've got great news. In the video today, I'm going to share with you when Luminar Neo is released. And also, I'm going to take you through some of the features that you will get in this released copy, including layers, power line removal, dust AI, overlays, relight AI, and more. Now, this is not going to be a review video today. This is going to be a quick introduction into some of these new features that you will get inside Luminar Neo. But I will be following this up with a complete review in the coming days. So when is this software going to be getting released? Well, the great news for everyone watching this is you can get your hands on a copy right now. That's right. It's released today, the 17th of February. So if you want to get your hands on a copy, you can do. And there will be a link in the description, which you can click on and get yourself a big saving on Luminar Neo if you want to save some money buying this product. Okay, guys, I actually really want to show you now some of the new features that you can see inside Luminar Neo and ones that you'll be able to use when you get your hands on a copy. So first off, let's go and take a look at one of the new features I'm really excited about, and that is layers. That's right. They've now introduced into Luminar Neo layers. This is something we had in Luminar 4, which was good, but it wasn't quite refined. And in Luminar Neo, this is something you can now use. So I'm just going to quickly show you on the left hand side, you've got the layers here, you can just have your image on the bottom, which is this one, which is a nice portrait photo, I can click on a layer, and then I can start adding things in like different overlays or textures, which can really transform the look of my image. So if I just grab this one and add it into the image, you can see I've now got this beautiful overlay which works in this image really nicely. I can then go over to the opacity and I can then change the opacity of this effect to make it more natural if I want to, or more surreal like that. But I actually like it a little less, so I'm going to put it there. You've also got blend modes which you can obviously change the look of your image using these blend modes. And then this is going to change the effect for you, which gives you a little bit more creative control. So I'm going to put this back on screen. Now, one thing that you've got inside this right hand side section here is edits. You've got tools, edits and presets, which are now all in the one section. So if I go over to this main image and click on it here, I can now start making changes to this image. So if I want to brighten her eyes, for instance, I can go into the face. I can then go to eyes and I can then enhance the eyes here using the eye enhancer and then let's say improve the eyebrows as well, even though she's got quite defined eyebrows. Then you can see up the top here, we have edits. You now can see the edits which take place on your layer. And then what you can do is click into the edits and you can then make changes to this at any time. You can also have a look at the before and after of what's actually occurred on the layer. And you can also, of course, go back and reset this, discard these edits, or you can actually just get rid of them completely by clicking the bin and they will go. So this is brilliant that they've introduced layers and I can't wait to really sink my teeth into this in the complete review, but I just wanted to give you a little introduction into this and show you basically how it works. Next up, you've got things like Relight AI. Now I've made videos on this leading up to this video which I've actually gone through this tool in more detail. If you want to check that out, there's going to be a link at the top of the video, which you can look at right now. But Relight AI is a really awesome tool, and it's something which I think is going to benefit a lot of people. So if we go into the tool section, we can choose Relight AI from all of the tools here on the right hand side. So I'm going to choose it here. And then you can see the options we have. What we can do is we can brighten the near or far area of our photo. So I can just push this up here and you can see that here, my area of the image in the foreground has got brighter. Now it's only brightening right in the foreground. So what happens if I want to make it brighter throughout the image? Well, that's easy. All I do is then change the depth slider to introduce more of this light further into the image. And if I want to do that right at the back end of the image, I can do that with brightness far. So I can bring it down to make it darker or I can bring it up to make it lighter. Now, the great thing about this is it can really transform the look of your images. If we have a look at before and the after, you can see that now it almost looks like the sun in the distance is lighting up this section of the sand here, which is really nice. 
In the advanced settings, you can actually also add warmth, which is like a nice orange tone to the actual areas near or far. So if I push this up, it actually now looks like the warmth of the sun is not only lighting it, but you've also got this nice orange glow on the sand as well. So this is another great tool which has been introduced into Luminar Neo in the first update. Now you may have seen tools like power lines removal and dust AI. I'm not gonna go into those right now, but these are great tools in which you can actually remove power lines from your image in just a single click. You can also do the same with dust, which may get on your sensor. And once again, I've made videos about these, which you can now click on showing at the top of the video right now. This was a really quick video, which I just wanted to introduce you to the release copy of Luminar Neo. And I wanna share with you how excited I am that this is now released. There is a lot more features which I haven't touched through in this video, which I'll be going through in the complete review, including a new develop console and including other tools which I haven't mentioned as well. So guys, I just wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Remember to go down into the description if you wanna grab a copy of this now. There is about 40% off if you use the link in the description. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video coming very soon.